bloke said to me, he said, I'm going to dress up as a small island off the coast of Italy. I said, don't be so silly. <laughs> and I met the man who invented windowsills. What a ledge. <laughs> so I said to this New Zealand bloke, I said, I'm going to a Swedish furniture shop. He said, does it look like Ikea? <laughs> This song is called Subtraction. Take it away. <laughs> Banag. That's bang out of order. <laughs> I don't know why I'll put myself through this. <laughs> the binoculars shop. I tell you what, they saw me coming. <laughs> so I went down to a local pub. Do you like local jokes? Yeah, me too. They're right up my street. <laughs> I said, I bet you can't name a single subject I don't have a joke about. He said, beavers. I said, damn. <laughs> but you know, the first job I ever had in this business, I was playing the back half of a pantomime wasp. And uh, I thought I was the bee's knees. <laughs> Do you know, the other day I got lost in the jungle. Luckily, I had a compass with me, so I was able to draw perfect circles with a pencil. <laughs> a small blue garden bird made of mahogany. Be great if I had a related joke. <laughs> Wouldn't it? I said, me and some friends have just been talking about you. He said, you disgust me. I said, yes, we did. <laughs> oh, you know, I've nearly finished filling in my CV. I've just got to do that little bit there. <laughs> All right, pipe down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you with this, because to be honest with you, um, it doesn't belong to me. I didn't bring it with me. <laughs> So I was standing on the beach, I walked into the waves holding a tub of taramasalata. Bloke said to me, he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm taking a dip in the sea. <laughs> so I was steering a yacht with my stomach muscles, abseiling. <laughs> and this farmer came up to me, he said, I've got 68 sheep, can you round them up for me? I said, sure, 70. 